Ready? Yep. Do we want to talk an intro or? Okay. <laughs> Welcome. Hi. Hey. We are going to attempt to do something that everybody in the world says they want to do, but somehow it never quite happens. And that is organize the kitchen drawer. We're not climbing Mount Everest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not today. Not today. We're something harder. <laughs> um, so uh, this was inspired by the fact that um, we, we ordered a new sort of countertop bin for our handy kitchen utensils. It's back there. We realized rather, because we've, we've had one for a while, but this is a new one. It's a little bit bigger. It's got a nice like um, cork bottom, cork bottom, which I like. Yeah. Um, and so that inspired us to say, okay, well, what are we going to put in there? What are we going to put in the drawer? All that sort of stuff. So <laughs> just make sure I'm showcasing it. So let's go get the mess and see what we can do with it. I have no idea how this is going to go. <laughs> okay. So we have two drawers. Two drawers. This is mostly cutlery, but a few like preparation pieces. Yeah, we'll grab those. We have some unitaskers. One of our few unitaskers, the egg egg topper, which is actually pretty handy. We actually do use it. <laughs> the rest of this is all serving stuff, so we're gonna leave that there. And this. Should I just take the whole freaking drawer? I think so. Are you able this to is, take it out? This is the challenge, yep. Yeah. Okay. If I can remember how these drawers were used. A few moments later. Yeah. Success. Okay, you go ahead and take that. I'm going to grab. This is our. Where do we want this? Right in the center. That's our drawer. Holy schmoly. I wonder if we're going to find any hidden mysteries in all of this mess. Let's find out. And that is what we currently have everything jammed into. Jammed is right. And then can you just do, bring that one up to the camera? See the size difference? So we're hoping a lot of these items can go into here. Maybe even after some culling. Should I bring the garbage can over? We can. <laughs> I think because <laughs> that's where I want a lot of this stuff to go. <laughs> we shall see. Okay. What's the easiest way? Should we put this down the ground and then bring things onto the? I think what we'll do is this. Okay. Bring over the all-important garbage can. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we should move this over then. Let's move this over and we'll just spread things out and see what we got. Is it strong enough? Oh yeah. Okay, so should we do this one first? That we start every day, yeah. Okay. I'll hand these to you. So, we have the spider, which we love and use all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Spoons, tongs. Oh, a Sharpie. There's a, a Sharpie. Sharpie in here. How did the Sharpie... That's where the Sharpie is. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mystery Ooh. solved. Ooh. Oh, can you go wash your hands? I think the Wait. Sharpie exploded. Did it? Is that what's causing that? I don't want to touch it. Mm. Show your hands. Yeah. It exploded. <laughs> okay, go wash your hands. He's wearing a nice new shirt. Garbage. Yep. <laughs> I think the bottom of this tin is full of Sharpie. Actually, the tin looks fine. Aside from random onion skins, the tin looks fine. I didn't know we had this much stuff. Yeah, that's the point of this exercise, <laughs> I think. Just and it was all here. jammed in there, yeah. which meant that we never really knew what we had. So we're going to be putting it in here. And culling a bit. And culling a bit. It's a good size difference. Okay, so let's think about the stuff that we used. We use like all the time when we're cooking. Okay, in terms of cooking? Because that's, I mean, for the countertop, this is the stuff that we use. I'd say for cooking, it's Hold on. basically this stuff. Right, and it's a question of how much of what. 
This is more for serving, so I'm not no, going to. No, we use the, we, we use the, I use this a lot for. I use this. I use this for cooking a lot. Like every time I poach eggs, I use this. This we use for S scooping. For, for scooping things as we're cooking. So I'd say these three we mm -hmm. keep. This we use all the time. Yep, including this. This, this one, the two spatulas we use all the time. This one we never use. Just organizing a bit here. So we so. have two basically the same thing strainer and I just find that since we've gotten the spider we never touch this one. Yeah. Because this one's this one lets stuff through so much easier so much and you can do more with it than this because this one like we can pot, toss veg or Mm -hmm. Like beans in to blanch and then yeah. just quickly scoop them out with that. When we're use frying, like we strainer. use this. Yeah. But do you use this for when you poach eggs because it's a flatter bottom? No, I use either this or I just scoop them out with this, which is smoother so it doesn't break the egg. This one tends to break the yolks. Yeah. But this one just cradles each yolk nicely and then I can dry it and that's not a problem. So I don't, I really don't use that anymore. Hmm. So should we get rid of it? Let's put it aside for now. Aside for now. So the aside corner is going to be up here <laughs> over there. So this we keep in our basket, our available basket. Now when I'm cooking curries and stews, I actually do use all three depending. This I like the length of the handle because sometimes the pot is very deep so I can get in there without burning myself. And then I tend to rotate between these two depending on which one is not available. If one is in the dishwasher, then I use the other one. So do we keep three? Yeah, because I, Rob and I cook different things most of the times. Um, so for now, different I purposes. I use these like all the time, yeah. but I don't know whether I need to have two I think you going. only need one and I prefer this one over this one. I don't know why, but the shape I find is better on this one. Okay, we'll put the other one in the aside. Aside, okay, so these. Now two tongs we use all the time because we yes. both tend to cook or, yeah. Yeah, we actually use both, both of, of these simultaneously. all the time. And they're sort of getting due for replacement and we use yeah. both of those all the time. Which are these two. We use more this than this, but we but do keep this handy. there are times when you're doing something bigger or if we are doing a fish and you need to flip it. Yeah. This one is great because it's like, it disappears when you turn it sideways. It's so thin. Yeah. So both, so of, both of these stay. will be going. Okay. Now, now. Rubber spatulas. So I use these. I've been using mostly this one. What, how about this? Not that often. Never. So is that a bye-bye? That's, that's a definite bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye. So that Let's will go... This, we'll put this in the to be left outside to be taken away. Because yeah. somebody can use it. It's a perfectly good spatula. It's in great condition. Yeah. We're just not condition. using it. It's in perfect condition because we don't use it. You can actually ask your son if he wants it. He might. Now these two. These two here. I actually do use these. Mostly this one. Uh, it depends on what I'm doing. They're great for baking or sometimes if I'm making a scrambled or omelet, it's great because of the rounded edge, it can really get into the pan. Yeah, and those are both it. good. And curds. Can I ask a favor though? What? One of them is starting to erode or getting beaten up. We, we have this one, <laughs> which suffered a little bit of a circumcision here. <laughs> and I do believe it's time to let it go. I don't know. I Oh, wait, we got other ones. Can we get a replacement? Because what I like about this, now this is dirty, but it's very I like flexible. It, that it's flexible. And I do use this. I, I do, do use this. But can we get a replacement? We can get a replacement. I mean, yeah, it suffered through injury. It might have some trauma. <laughs> Can we get it today, the replacement? <laughs> What's good about these ones is that it's actually, they're, they're very stiff. And for pastry and for bakers out there, this is actually a very good one. I hate to say this, but I had my eye on a set of black silicone utensils. Silicone utensils? Like, like a, these, like, like these? these, but a nice black silicone. I'm fine with set. that. They looked pretty sweet. Yeah. We'll, lo we'll look at them. I, I came across them on Amazon. Now this. This I find can go in a drawer because I do use this. You actually purchased this to get into jars. To get into jars. Yeah. Which we don't, you know, it's not an everyday thing. It's not an everyday thing. So I think it can go in a drawer. That can go in a drawer. So that's in that the aside. These ones, however, we do tend to use. These are like a stiff but thin spatula. And we tend to use these for cooking, don't we? I use this a lot yeah. for sourdough. 
baking. Yeah, you're, you're using this all the time and I find this is actually, it's a handy thing to have out, but I don't think we need two of them out. No, I think one in a drawer can go. One. What I like about this, it's slightly curved with a flat top. So when I'm trying to get into things, it really gets in there. So should we leave one in the bin and one in the drawer? I think so. So, so there we go. Now we have, we actually do end up using both of these. I would love to get another white one, but. I would say the blue one can go in a drawer because we, we now have like three white, white spoons. Yeah, they're, all and they're very good. And they're great. They're indestructible, high heat. This, it, yeah, I would say, this could actually go away. We hardly use it anymore. Yeah. It's one, and it's also one of those awkward shapes that's impossible to store. This does virtually the same thing. Yeah. Not quite as big. I as have one used in a side. it. Yeah. Can we put it aside for now? I have used put it this. Put it to the asides. Asides. Okay. So I think I think we've done pretty good here. We've culled. We have culled. Not majorly, but we have culled. No, we we we. we now we, we made a dent. <laughs> yeah, you show it with the phone. This is what we have now. That's the pile that's going to the side. And then <laughs> we have just one that's gonna go to someone else. <laughs> Maybe some of those. Yeah. So, okay. here's our new one. Go, let's just see how everything fits. Do, 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 do. I think Wooden it'll be a lot spoons. better. Yeah. Scraper. Two spatulas. Yeah. Will these hang on the side? Yes. I love Perfect. that. And the fish spatula and the thin spatula. And there's, there's it's not for everything. Yeah, because the biggest struggle with the previous one was that because everything was so jammed in there, you take something out, everything would come out. Very annoying. Okay, so this is done. I think that's a... Uh, I am still going to use this. I'm actually, I have tools in my sourdough baking area because we sell bread now as well and experiment quite a bit. So I will use this for my tools for the sourdough baking area. And this will go in our kitchen. Yes, perfect. And this will go in the dishwasher. Yeah, it, <laughs> it needs cleaning. Okay, shall we look at the drawer? Yeah, oh, the drawer. Okay, so. How do you want to do this? <laughs> Let's <clears throat> start with the topper. Right. Okay. So this is what we have. This is one Take these section. out of the way. Okay. The mandolin. So this we use like all the time. There's the little pusher for it and the blades. It and should be the in the blade. bag. Yeah. It, well, we really should find a better storage solution maybe for these. We can come up maybe with a bag, but right the now. The bag is not great, but for right now. Yeah, we, we have them in a little, a little Ziploc bag, but it's not a great solution. But I don't want something that takes up a lot of space. But meanwhile, <clears throat> okay, mandolin is definitely we're keeping. Mm -hmm. Now, these, all of these rings. They are useful in terms of if we ever need them, they're available because you can't find these as replacements easily. Yeah. So these will need to go somewhere else. Probably I'll put in the baking section where I have all the sourdough stuff. Right, and all the clips. Yeah. Because that's what you use them for the most. This is a lid to one of the many, many jars we have. And I think we can afford to not toss that one. Garbage. Gone. Gone. Okay, this guy. Great can opener. Yep, we actually use this quite a bit. And I think it's a keeper. Oh, for sure. It goes onto the side of the can and it cuts underneath the bead of the can. Mm -hmm. So you can actually, and you can actually sort of put the lid of the can back on. And it's a Zillis brand, if there's anybody curious as to what this is. Oxo makes a, an equally good version of this. Yeah, because how long have you had this for? Oof, long time. Yeah, so <clears throat> some things are worth, if they're indestructible, they will last you forever and you won't need to replace it. Okay, this thing we use. But I think it needs a refuel. It does, but I have the fuel, so I can I can refuel it and it still works. So. Yep. Keep. That goes there. And Skewers. Over. Skewers we definitely use. Yep. So we have to find a good place to keep them. Yep. And look at that, yet another Sharpie. Yeah, I put that in there for you. Why does it look so similar to the other one? Is it mm -hmm. leaking? Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. No. It's still it's, good? 
Now these. Those we use. Those are these great. These are great and it comes with a pack. It's a Trudeau brand and it's a great pour. We find it doesn't quite drip or leak as you finish pouring. So let's keep those. Yep. Those are handy. <laughs> Um, I think that could go. <laughs> yeah, do you need it for food styling? Uh, no, not that small. Okay. Not that, and the same thing for this one. Is this recyclable? Uh, yes, that can go in recycling. Okay, so I'll put these aside to put in recycling now, later. this is a thing of beauty. This is a um, Japanese... Um, uh, fishbone? Fishbone puller. Yeah. Very, very fine, flat edge. Great for grabbing onto the pin bones in the fish and pulling them out. That we're definitely keeping. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Lids for milk jars, garbage. Yep. Recycling. That's recycling. Lighter. Old lighter. Yep, I've. Aside. Yeah, put that there. That's goodbye. China marker. China marker, back in the photography area. Okay. <laughs> Paintbrush. I'm not sure why that's in there. <laughs> I don't know, um, but it probably should go back into the, well, we have we have a container somewhere for food styling. We do, in the photography drawer. That's where it should go. Yeah, so that'll go there. That'll go there. This, ah. um, I got because, the, what are those, the cake testers are actually expensive. I don't know why. I got this for like a dollar fifty, even less. I think it should be fine to keep this. Yeah. I use it. Okay. And <laughs> elastic bands from, from uh, vegetables, which are nice and strong. Yep. So they're actually usable. And we keep it, we actually compile them into a little clip here so that they stay all in one place. So when we need something, we just take one out and these. Yeah. yeah or the, otherwise, you end up with a whole drawer full of rubber bands. Crazy rubber bands. Okay. Okay. This, I need to this wash this. This goes to the washing machine. Yeah. Okay. So that, that was a decent culling. Oh, this we forgot to mention. Oh, yeah. Nadia uses this a lot. <laughs> yeah. This is for protecting Nadia's fingers when she's using the mandolin. Yes. So that we don't end up with a competitive cooking show. Bleeding. Crisis. Yeah, we're, we have 10 million we bandages have, on fingers. We don't fingers. have medics standing by when we're cooking. <laughs> so it's great. It's actually made for if you're working with sharp objects, it's supposed to protect your hands and fingers. One of these days, now that we can go back into Tam Fong, I'm going to splurge and buy you a proper butcher's glove. I would love that. Yeah, because the proper butcher gloves are actually like a fine metal chain mail and they really protect. Yeah, they do. Sorry, I forgot to bring the microphone back. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess we'll just do section section by section. Yeah. Okay. Here's our section number two. Okay. <laughs> So, bench scraper and yep. scissors we use like all the time. They need to be super handy. Yeah. And lately we have been using tape, the white tape with marker. The marker. The marker. Oh, let's get that here. Although we have a better one, but those, I thought I, I thought I put a better marker in the drawer. We did. Yeah. Ah. Uh, come on. This one. With a backup. With a backup. So that's for, for quickly labeling things. Like I label my, I have glass containers for coffee beans and they're changing all the time. So a little bit of white tape, the marker does great. Good to go. So these are all necessary these are stuff. These necessities. Yes, for sure. Okay, the now, great contentious potato musher. <laughs> which is not just a unitasker. I actually use it when I'm making curries. Uh, the start of the curry is with onions, tomatoes, peppers, and everything. You let them stew a little bit before you add anything else. And I learned this trick from my mom to speed up the cooking process. As they soften, I mash everything using this potato masher and you get to a stew-like consistency a lot faster or a gravy-like consistency for you to then add water and your meat or your lentils. So I use this. Okay. This is an OXO one with a really nice grippy handle. So, you know, it works. Yeah. Just awkward. I would love to figure out a great way to store this. Yeah. Cause I don't want to let go of this. Cause you do I, use it. I do use it. What I also like is because I'm going into a deep pot for mashing up the tomatoes and it's the onions, it's got some height. And because, because OXO is known for ergonomics, if this handle, it will not slip out of my hand so I can confidently mash without burning myself. Right. Okay. It's in the keep department. If we see a suitable replacement, we'll think about it. Yay. Okay. Now, on the subject of we've we've stumbled into the great whisk controversy. Oh, wait. Let me bring... Yeah. <laughs> 
Let's make some room for the whisks. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay, so the bottom for this, bottom. Okay, these are keepers. We'll just move them out of the way. Whisks, okay, yeah. so. <sighs> That's all the whisks? Uh, the, yeah. <laughs> Gee, yep. <laughs> I knew I knew we threw out a few. Yeah, did we, we did. Did we have a little mini whisk? No, something? we didn't have a mini one. We had something similar to this. It wasn't as large as this. And but it was broken. It was broken. One of these things fell out. So I think we bought this recently, didn't we? We did. We did. Um, I really like big whisks because mm -hmm. uh, if you're doing eggs or something and mm -hmm. you're doing a few, it's nice to have. You can get into a deep bowl. Yep. However, it's also nice to have a small whisk if you're just whisking a couple of eggs or something like that. And believe it or not, I use both of those. If I'm only doing one or two eggs, I can do this. Or if I'm making polenta, this is great. But I find it doesn't whip as much, mainly because maybe there's uh, a smaller circumference. I'm not sure. This is also stiffer. Like, see how squishy this is? This you can't really squish, so it's a lot stiffer. So I, I use it for different purposes. Could we cut it down to just two whisks rather than three? But we need this. We need that. Is there a... <laughs> this is a great sound. <laughs> so um, you find you really use both of the small ones? I do. Okay. This we still use. This we use. This is a great device. This is yeah. an OXO. Can you um, tell we like beater. OXO? <laughs> yeah, well, it's just, you know, OXO is so well designed. You yeah. can hold it like this and beat eggs, or you can actually put together a meringue, do a zabayon really quickly, and it's really simple to clean. These yeah. just sort of pop off, go in the washer. Yeah. So it's, it's a really handy thing, and I like the fact that it pops apart so that it's easy to store as opposed to this, which is always a pain to store, but... We'll have to figure something out here. Could, no, I, I don't want to put it in there. No, because no. the problem with putting balloon whisks, and most people do this because they're a pain to have in the drawer, but if you put it in your basket, then everything else gets mm -hmm. caught in it. And then and it, it just traps damages. every utensil you own. It just damages. Yeah, so. Okay, well that's, that's our whisk story. Okay. And I guess we're keeping them all. Yes, we are. <laughs> okay. That's gonna go over here. <laughs> okay, next. Nice baster, steel or stainless steel baster. Excellent tool. Yep. We use that a lot. Yep, I actually, I'm gonna confess here, I use it for other things too. Uh, if I over water my plants and the water gathers at the bottom of the plate, I actually use the baster to pull, suck the water out and put it in a bucket without causing too much of a mess. And the nice thing is this baster pulls apart. So it's easy to clean. So it's very easy to clean, throw in the dishwasher, cleans up. And if this is silicone, yep. so it holds together really well. So that's a pointer for people who are into plants. I do that quite a bit. We, okay. okay, so that we're keeping. Ice cream scoop we use fairly frequently. Yeah, I love this one. Yeah, it's a really nice one. It's solid and it's got, I love this sort of old cast metal feel. Okay, so this is an old pastry brush. Yeah. And I don't think we ever use it. I don't use it because I have other pastry yeah. brushes. Okay. This is a carving fork, which we don't use frequently. I think we don't, I don't use it in large part, because it's always stuck at the bottom of this drawer. I didn't even realize it was but in there. I would like to put this in a place where I can use it, because I actually like using the carving fork for cutting up a big piece of meat. I didn't even know we had this in the drawer. Isn't it nice? It's, it's very nice. Piece. Yeah. See the things you discover when you start <laughs> cleaning things out. Okay, so this will go. Yeah, we'll put it. We'll put it face up, right in the middle of the basket. <laughs> How many times will Nadia poke her hand? <laughs> okay. This is an old restaurant grade utility knife, which we never really use. The only time we use it, it's a Nella brand. Mm -hmm. The only time we use it is if we're going someplace with a knife, but I, I don't think it's worth keeping around. So camping and stuff? If, I'm, if we're going camping, I take my Good honking knife? camping knife. Okay, then we'll just get rid of this. Yeah. We can so, I mean, we have plenty of knives. We, have, we will yeah, be doing- Knives are coming. Yeah, we'll be doing a, a knife video or knives video. Okay, so that, because that ends up just sitting in the drawer. Next. Now these, I love these. And we have a set of three. One of them is, is in the cocktail drawer. These are like silicone- uh, no, funnel, funnels. Funnels, silicone funnels. 
which are great because they don't take up a lot of space. They can smoosh down and they don't like occupy a whole drawer. Yeah, I mean, they can so, literally just go like this. Yeah. They never do, but you know, <laughs> if you put them in a drawer, other things can go around them. Okay, so that's a keeper. Those are keepers. These. <sighs> okay, so we love. yes, we do. And this they is, collapse. The, this is just brilliant. I love these because they're so much more useful than a regular set of measuring back. Da -da -da. No, I'm not Peter McKinnon with magician hands. <laughs> so these are really handy. They pop out, yep. and then when you're done, just give them a rinse, they're silicone, flatten them out, and they all go together in the space of like less than one regular cup. And what I also like, like say if I grab the one cup, these are made for if you, it's not just for solids, but say if you have a liquid in there, there's a spout over here, you can actually just squeeze and pour. Super so. handy. Love those. Yeah. Great design. Whoever, whoever designed that had their head on straight. I haven't been able to find these again then they're, they're precious treasures. Yeah. This is something we got recently at yeah. Tap Fall. No, we got this from St. Lawrence Market, that little area. Oh, the little store in St. Lawrence Market. Yeah. Um, it's the it's the official um, hat from- <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> from Harry Potter that <laughs> deem, deems your thing. Um, it is a really fine filter for filtering such things as cold brew coffee mm -hmm. or whatever you want to pass through it. It's fabric which yeah. is really nice and very fine. Um, doesn't leave any residue on anything. And again, collapses down to nothing. Which also means and that it's And it also reusable. cleans really easy because you can just squirt some de um, detergent in there, clean it up, rinse it out, and mm -hmm. it's ready to go. Yep. Super handy. Keep. <laughs> Now, I like these measuring spoons. I like them too. I yeah. use them a lot. These are really handy. They're very sturdy. Mm -hmm. Nice shape. They pour well. Keepers. And they're pretty. And they we get... Use them, we use them as props all the time. I was going to say we use this a lot in our videos. Okay. There's that. I like this. You like it, mm -hmm. but it still has the price tag on it. Yep. You've never used it. I will be using it soon. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what this is going to be used for when I start using it. So in curries, we use whole spices. We use cinnamon sticks, uh, black cardamom, cloves, all that sort of stuff. One thing I'm not a big fan of is seeing them in the curry dishes because then you have to actually look for them and take them out. If you put them all in here, close it. Fail. Oh my God. No! <laughs> Why isn't this working? Ah, there we go. If you put them all in here, then once you're done using those spices, the, you can either leave them in the curry and let it stew and continue to flavor the curry, or you can take it early, but it's like a kitchen bouquet without it. Okay, then it we're, being... going to, we're going to officially cut the price tag off. Ta-da! With our soon to be gone utility knife. Yep, so this is staying. Okie doke. And it's reusable, that's what I like about it. Okay. Um, now this is actually a handy syringe, but mostly for food styling. So I think it should go so in the this photography. Should go in the photography, food styling, as well as these items. Okay. Like zester, or maybe they'll go in the cocktail drawer. Those two could go in the cocktail drawer because they're actually useful. Yeah, because you do use them for when you're making martinis and stuff, oh, or any other I cocktail. I tend to use a knife. But these are all, you can make like a radish curl or a carrot curl with this, it drills in and makes these intertwining DNA style curls. Uh, that's what that is that's for? That's what that is for. That <laughs> is, I didn't know that. That is from my grandmother Snyderman. That's part of her collection. She used to make beautiful like fruit baskets for us when we were watching TV and she'd, she'd hollow out a watermelon yeah. or a melon and, and ripple cut a handle on it and then fill it with all kinds of carefully carved fruits. Whether we use this or not, I don't care. I think we're keeping it just for the story. And it comes, you see, it comes with, see this handle goes on it so that you can turn this into a carrot. So this goes onto there and you can twist away. Put that up there. And these in cocktail or photography? Because um, I don't use photography. These. Photography? Yeah. Okay. And same thing here. This will go into the photography. This is a uh, radish curler. Okay. Another piece that drills down into a radish and then shaves it into a curl. Okay. So photography drawer. Another, another <clears throat> heirloom. 
and a melon baller, which I got because we were taking dessert to my brother's house for one of our family dinners. And my mom wanted to have a fruit for dessert. And I knew that his kids would not eat a fruit if I just put it out on a platter. So I went and I balled melons of various melons and they went nuts on them. They did, they really did. <laughs> so we have to keep the melon baller because if we go to Alan's place, we have to ball melons again. Okay. okay. Garbage, as they say in the business. Yeah. Oh, this needs cleaning too. Oh, definitely. I have no idea what that is for. I don't know. So we're going to go on to our third section soon. Okay. Next. Okay, we're reaching the end. It's unbelievable what we have in one freaking drawer. I wonder how long this video is going to be once I edit it. <laughs> okay. okay. Strainers. Strainers. Now we, uh, in with the pots and pans, we have a larger strainer, which we use. We have actually like three strainers, which we, all of which we use. We do use all of them. Yeah. And the little guys? The little guys, this is my chai strainer. Yeah, which you use all the time. I can attest there's <laughs> there's chai, Residue chai in bits there. in there. It does get used for other things too, but when we were doing the curd videos, we ended up buying this for it. It's a, that's actually really handy. It I is like very handy. Size. It's a fine mesh. Uh, it's just one size bigger than this. And there are times where I do end up using this for other things. Absolutely. Yeah, so these are keepers. Yeah, so this, this stays for chai, pretty much. Yeah. And this one I use for cooking, so. Useful. If you want to get perspective for size. Okay. okay, now this stuff relates to barbecue. Now, do they need to be in here or do you want them in another drawer? Well, the, um, you do use these. But for cooking or, I mean, I think this one could go out to the barbecue. Yeah. And the same thing, this can actually, you know what? Here we go. Here we are. This bizarre looking device. This is one of those things where very often my mother gets things for me and I sort of look at it and go, what the hell was she thinking? But this one, she got it from Lee Valley, which is always a good sign, right? And I was skeptical at first until I was barbecuing something and I wanted to put a sauce on. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, this thing is an amazing like sauce mop. Because like the, the, the serious barbecuers, they have these big like cloth, like a mop mop for mopping the sauce onto like barbecue a whole, sauce barbecue anything. sauce onto a whole rack of ribs or whatever yeah which i don't really do but for putting sauce onto a fish or whatever this thing actually this weird little thing holds onto the sauce really well and then gets it onto whatever you're cooking really effectively so both, actually it both looks thick weird and thin sauces yeah it looks weird works like a charm and what i really like is this pops out and it's intended to do that. So you can drop this thing into the dishwasher and get it actually clean because trying to clean all in there would be bleh. So this, no, oh, this way, pops in there, clicks in there. <laughs> it's supposed to click in there. Oh, yes, there once go. you push it in, clicks in there, works great. Okay, so this I'm gonna keep in which case I'm going to put this, we're going to put this out by the barbecue. Yeah. Because that makes more sense. Yep. In which case, this thing, which does an adequate job, but nowhere near as good. No. And it even probably it's wasn't cheap. Bodum. It's uh, a no, bodum. it's a bodum. Yeah. Yeah. And it does do a decent job. But it's this just, just does, does better. better. So this will go out to the barbecue equipment. This, I think we can keep in the drawers for basting. Yeah. Like in, in the, the oven without burning your hand. Yeah. You can do it from, it's nice and long. And it's got a good angle on it so that you can actually get to whatever you need to in the oven without having to go like this to baste. Okay. Peelers. Now, peelers. These things are actually handy and I like having both shapes because they tend to do different vegetables differently. Agreed. And they're also OXO. Yeah. We have a lot Jeez, of OXO. Like, I wish. Oxo, if you're listening, <laughs> would you make one of these but about double the width? Yeah. Because the problem with this one is if you're doing any vegetable of a bigger diameter, like a, the arms get caught on the vegetable and you can't do can't get the blade to it. Whether it's a big potato so it only, or a it only works squash. for like carrots and thinner things, but it yeah. does a great job. Um, and also thinner pieces of cheese and stuff. It's great for that. But it would be nice, it would be wonderful to have one that's just a little wider. Now I'm sure folks are saying, but you have this for bigger vegetables. That's true. I'm accustomed to peeling like this. 
But if you're not accustomed to peeling like this, this is where it comes in handy because then you get a good grip here, but you just need it on a wider vegetable, being able to peel across it like a butternut squash or a really giant potato. So if you can't do this, this would be handy for those folks. So this just needs to be about that much bigger, I'd say. Yeah, but we do use both of these. Yes. This is gonna stay. Next. This is actually handy. This is super handy. Yeah. This is a citrus juicer. From Lee Valley Lee too. Valley again. Yeah. And what's nice is it's wood. Yeah. So, and it stays nice and clean, but it's got sharp, like the edges are nice and sharp. Cause a lot of the, I know that there's like a molded plastic version of this. Not very good. But the ridges are sort of rounded and it, it mushes, but it doesn't really get the juice out. Yeah. This thing goes right into a lemon or a lime or whatever, gets everything out. That's a keeper. Okay. Now, or pastry brushes. I use this one. Yeah, this one I think is time to go. I think it's also de herring itself. Is that a word? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not trusting this anymore. Yeah. Garbage. We've had it for a long time. Yeah. Tea strainer? Yep. I use it. Ah. One of our few unitaskers. Yes. <laughs> the egg um, topper. I mean, people are probably wondering what really is this? So, I like soft boiled eggs and there's times that Rob also likes it. And what you can do instead of trying to use a knife to behead your egg, top of it, you put this on top of the egg, you pull, you hear a snap, it creates a bit of a suction. And then when it comes back down, that bang means that the edge of this is actually cutting into the yeah, egg This shell. has a very, very small little edge to it, which actually jams into the egg and allows you to just go boink and take a perfectly clean little yeah. top off. It may seem an indulgence, but really when you have a clean top of the egg cut off and then you can really enjoy your soft boiled egg without any egg And shells. if you're really ambitious, you could make like a custard Keep yeah. the shells and serve them back in there. Yep. All the fancy people out there. <laughs> <laughs> Have we even used this? <laughs> Have we used this? Uh, you bought it. You were like, I'm going to be making pasta. Me? I didn't <laughs> yeah. buy this. Don't blame me <laughs> on this one. He was like, you... I'm going to be making pasta and I'm going to be making ram. Nope, wasn't me. You bought this one. No, yes. I make bread. I don't make pasta. This, this is designed for cutting square leaves of pasta. You bought it. I did not you buy did. it. No, I did not. This is going to be an ever going debate. You said you wanted pasta. You were going to make ravioli. I'm still waiting for it's my not ravioli. For ravioli. It's not a ravioli mode. I'm still waiting for pasta. <laughs> it's going in the to be determined. It hasn't uh, even been used. You, I know. Do that's you want it. to try using it? I'll try it. We'll see. Okay. I didn't buy it. He did buy it. This is an apple cora. Also an oxo. Also oxo. And I tell you, when you actually want a core and apple, this thing yeah. isn't, what we were using it We for did a shoot. The uh, apple galette or something. It was the apple chestnut, uh, yeah, yes. rolled cake. Oh, the pears. The pears. And this thing zoomed through pears just beautifully. Yeah. Good old OXO. Yeah, we have a lot this of OXO. This is becoming an OXO ad. <laughs> yeah. OXO, if you're hearing this. Okay. okay, oyster shucker. This is my oyster knife. It's not my favorite oyster knife. I used to have one that disappeared. So I'm, I'm on a quest. If I see one, I will get it. So then do you still want to keep this? We'll keep this for now because okay. it works. I mean, we've used it. Okay. So we'll, this so will be here. Now we have yet another version of this, <laughs> which I, I think is superfluous. I, I was going to say, I, I don't use it because I have this guy, which I prefer. Yeah. These, they get used by me. Not often, but they do get used by me. I think they're, you know, they're what they, in case you can't tell what these are, they are a set of what, cookie, cookie cutters, cutters. Yeah. yeah. In, in different sizes. Of sizes. Yeah, which makes them very handy. And what I like about them and I appreciate is they do fit together nicely. Yeah, like a nesting. And store in a nested form. Yeah. And that's nice and simple to. So those we're keeping. Now, what's that? This, oh, ha, ha. this is various parts and pieces oh, for coffee. my coffee machine. So this is staying then? This is staying. This is for the cafe lot. Right. Uh, you can check out the video up here of our cafe lot video if you're interested. So this is the, um, I mean, it's probably not things I'm going to use like the, um, the, the double espresso, double espresso spout replacement gaskets are worth keeping because those are parts. This is a little, this is in case you ever want to take the pressure gauge off. So all of this stuff is stuff you want to keep. So I'm just 
putting it there. So this and we're another cleaning. Another section we are going to put in the clean. Yep. Last okay. It's in the drawer. Doing pretty good. Okay. So these guys, two uh, great cheese graters. Mm -hmm. Two sizes. We use these like all the time. Fine grater and a more coarse grater. We grate like everything, everything with this. Tomatoes, yep. cheese, I even onions, use this garlic. to grate garlic, ginger into curries and stews because I don't like a thick texture, now, so it's I fantastic. I like this guy for grating garlic. This is a, that's a Lee Valley microplane. Mm -hmm. From before microplane got into doing kitchen things, they made tools. Yeah. And this is one of their tools and we use it for, I use it for doing garlic and ginger. And I use this instead for garlic and ginger because whenever I use this, I lost a lot of skin cells. <laughs> <laughs> there was a lot of natty and a lot of dishes. Thankfully, it was just eating it. Okay, so these we're keeping, including this. Now, this is a really, really good wok tool. Yep. Bought this in Chinatown. I have two woks. We have a sort of a smaller size. We've and got a small karai size. as well. We got the... So there's the karai that I got. That's for doing... Curries, small amounts, uh, any karai curries, basically any curry you want to make in here. And this goes in here, and you'll notice the end of this is curved, and it sort of matches the curve of the, uh, the walks and the karais. Yeah. So when you go to scrape and flip, yep. it actually works. And there's, I love this tool. It works, so we'll keep that. I didn't know we had a matchbox <laughs> in the drawer. Yes, well, you mean you don't? <laughs> and these are like traditional. We're keeping these. these. The old-fashioned, like strike anywhere matches. Uh, would this be called vintage? This is. I mean, look at the age <laughs> of the wood on there. <laughs> we have vintage matches. Yes. <laughs> it's still in great condition. I know. Should it's... we do one test? Let's see. Does this work? <gasps> this is how fire is made. <laughs> I want to keep this. I mean, look at the size of this box. How did I miss the fact this was in the drawer? And that's de it's definitely a vintage seafarer. Yeah, that's staying. <laughs> <laughs> These are um, spare parts from my old coffee machine, the Seiko. Oh, so, so I, I can go. I'm going to, now that things have opened up again, I'm going to contact the repair guy and see if he wants to take my old machine to for use parts? for parts. Yeah. Because people are still yeah. using this machine. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. We have a dirty Ziploc bag. Can we throw that out? No, no, that's vintage. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is going out. <laughs> um, string, I think this will go into my string collection, which is in the tool department, because we actually have, we have a, um, a thing of proper butcher's twine on a dowel yeah. hanging underneath the cabinet. So all you do is pull out, snip it off. Yeah. And our handy dandy kitchen shears are good for that. So this can go. I have He has a drawer, a drawer called strings. String, string lots of strings. His tool section. Skewers. Skewers. How often have we used this? Um, they are good to have. But... They are good to have. We just have to find a sensible place to keep them. Yeah. These are the wooden skewers that you soak prior to barbecuing or using as you don't want the wood to burn if you're barbecuing with these. So I think... Uh, I think we've, we've... We've done it. We've emptied the drawer, which is a bit of a... Just needs cleaning. Needs, yeah. Definitely needs cleaning. <laughs> and then we will run the, uh, the binders through of the dishwasher. Yep. And then see how all this stuff goes back into place. Yep. So that's so the plan. That's the plan. We'll come back once we start assembling I think we've everything. We've gotten rid of a couple of things, not as much as I'd hoped, but we were already pretty good to begin with in terms of what we had in our drawer because we've done this before we've, as we've well. Things, but yeah, so it wasn't too bad. I think we did pretty good. We really needed a utensil jar or container good enough, yeah, for the other stuff. So we'll come back once we get all this clean and we'll organize it and we'll see how it looks. See you in like I don't know nice. five minutes. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta-da! So, there's the drawers all neat and organized, such as they haven't been in a long, ever. <laughs> no, they have been, in six, yeah. six, seven years ago. I don't think we actually organized, we just did them. No, we organized it. <laughs> okay. This forced us to organize it. <laughs> so these are done. These are now clean and done. We still have to do this one. Right, what do we have to go in there? 
mantled in. Okay. Hmm. What about the graters? I like leaving the graters on the side of the drawer that we have. Oh, that's right. Then we have a quick little space access. for them. Yes. Yeah. So. So this needs to go. I think that'll fit there. Yeah. Like this, and then let's grab one of our elastic bands for the skewers. Trusty elastic band. So that goes there. So we have. We actually put all the whisks in one spot. All three fit in here with the melon baller. Measuring stuff. Measuring stuff here. Uh, pastry brush. Citrus juicer. Though that's all there. We may have to just I'm sure adjust a little out. bit, but shall we grab the drawer? Let's grab the drawer. Drawer. Those go in. So I like having the measuring stuff on the left yes, most. Yes, I agree. We it did looks it. clean, it looks organized, just the way we like it, and it's all the tools that we use. And we got rid of the ones that we don't use. Yep, they'll find new homes. All right. Very nice. Okay, everybody. Success. You want to say bye, Rob? All right, and don't forget <laughs> to like, subscribe, and all and, that. And hit the notification bell. Okay. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye-bye.